Welcome to video 122 in series 3, and now our destructible game objects will have collision detection. Okay, make a new C -sharp script and call it destructible collision detection. And open it up. Okay, I won't need the on enable and on disable methods, nor will I need update. And to save a bit of time, I'll paste in the variables. So that's private destructible master, destructible master, private collider, an array with the two square brackets, hit colliders, private rigid body, my rigid body, public float, threshold mass, which I've given an initial value of 50, and public float, threshold speed, which I've given an initial value of 6. Now I'll have another unity method here, so void on collision enter so get that spelling right and collision col and i'll have two other methods as well so void collision check i'll put here rigid body i'll just call it other rigid body And another method, void self speed check. I'll start with set initial references, and I'll say that uh, destructible master is get component destructible master. And if get component rigid body is not equal to null. And my rigid body uh, is equal to get component rigid body. Okay, and uh, just call that in start. Uh, next, I'll work on the self speed check. If my rigid body dot velocity dot square magnitude is greater than threshold speed times the threshold speed, then that means this destructible object should receive damage. So what I'm doing here, you'll soon see that, you know, maybe this, um, this object is flying, uh, you know, it's been chucked or thrown uh, and it hits against something that stops its motion, but that other object has a very low mass. But nevertheless, this thing, because of the speed it's moving at, it should still receive damage. So that's what the self-speed check is for. And I'll just say here, int, I'll make up a variable, damage is equal to uh, int in brackets, because I need to convert the rigid body mass to an int. Dot mass. So I'm just going to use that as the damage value, just whatever this rigid body's mass is, that's the uh, damage amount, and I just convert it to an int. And then destructible master dot call event deduct health, and that is damage. And this will apply damage to uh, this uh, game object, to this destructible object. Okay, so now I'll fill in the collision check. So this is where another game object has bumped into this one, or even like, you know, this one's thrown and it bumps into another one, then I need, just need to do a check of how massive and how fast that other game object is. So if other rigid body dot mass is greater than threshold mass, and other rigid body uh, dot velocity dot square magnitude, is uh, greater than the same thing like you saw below, threshold speed times threshold speed. Okay, so if both of these conditions are satisfied, then uh, why don't I just copy this bit of code right here. And instead of uh, my rigid body, I'll just say other rigid body dot mass. Now if this isn't the case, so if the other object was uh, too light, it's lighter than the threshold mass, um, or the, it was just too slow, the other object, 
then in that case, uh, then this damage of the other rigid body's mass, it won't get applied. And instead, I should just do a self-speed check, because maybe this object is moving really fast. So in that case, else self-speed check. Okay. Now let's go over to uh, on collision enter, and I'll just check if col.contacts.length is greater than zero. That's the first check. And then if it has a rigid body, so whatever this um, destructible object has been contacted by, so you know, you throw it against a golem, for example, so then the golem uh, is the uh, COL contact, so then I just need to check it has a rigid body. If it does have a rigid body, then I'll do the collision check. Now, if it doesn't have a rigid body, then I'll just do a self-speed check. So, for example, if you throw the uh, destructible object at the terrain or the ground, which doesn't have a rigid body on it, you should still do a uh, self-speed check. So that way, if it's moving really fast, this destructible object is moving really fast, a damage will be applied and potentially it gets destroyed. If col.contacts, uh, it's index item 0, dot other collider. So you can select which collider you want to do something. You can say this collider uh, or other collider. So that's pretty handy. So, But in this case, I'm only interested in the object that this destructible object is coming into contact with. So for example, the golem or the ground. So other collider dot get component rigid body is not equal to null. So if it's not equal to null, that means it has one. So collision check, which requires a rigid body. So I'll just write here a col a dot contacts zero a dot other collider dot get component rigid body. Okay. Now, if this isn't the case, so for example, thrown against the ground, the terrain, then else, uh, in that case, I should put a self speed check. Okay, so that should do it. This uh, script should be functional. Uh, so let's go over to Unity, uh, attach it. Okay, and uh, I'll just leave these values as they are. Hit apply. Let's give it a try. So I'll hit play. Okay, so I'll go and grab that barrel, try it out, select it, throw it. Bam! That worked pretty nicely. Okay, so we saw there that uh, collision detection works. How about if I just throw it on the ground instead? Okay, so that worked as well. Just fine. So the self speed check worked there nicely. And uh, as you saw, the barrels uh, nicely uh, exploded just by collision detection. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.